Uno momento. Uno momento. I'm watching Money Heist, you see, so now I'm fluent in Spanish. There it is. Uno momento. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on. Don't know if you can hear it, my next door neighbours, elderly neighbours, telly on full blast. Spanish. Mm, fluent in Spanish. Hablo espanol, see? Si? It's got the telly on really loud, but I'll let them off because it's Terminator 2 and I haven't seen it for ages. I haven't seen it for ages and it's bringing me back all the feels. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. How are you? How are you, one person? <laughs> it's Martin Scott. Hi, Martin Scott. Happy Saturday. How are you doing, Martin Scott? Are you good? Are you well? I hope you are well. Um, I don't know if I've ever done, ever done a live video that's topical, like about, about the news before. But I, I'd, struggle to, I'd struggle to do a live video and, and not have to talk about... There's some of the, some of, see, see, at least, yeah, it's not frozen this time, Eddie. I, I don't mind frozen, I don't mind frozen. Um, was it Monday, International Women's Day, was that Monday? Mad, innit? Guapo, I don't know what's guapo, guapo, don't know, don't know, I'll Google that one later. Um, International Women's Day on Monday, way women, women, women. Uh, that didn't last long, did it? Um, so let's start at the start. It started with it started with Meghan and Harry. I'll come back to that, Martin Scott. Started with Meghan and Harry, right? And uh, and the and the racist monarchy. That's not new. We know we know the monarchy is racist. It's inherently racist. We know that inbred, racist, and useless. Right? We know this. Um, and then, but then, but then Piers Morgan changed all that, didn't he? <laughs> because he really fancied, he, fan, he really fancied Meghan. I hadn't even seen these videos. This is what I've got from it. Piers Morgan fancied Meghan Marshall, tried to, did, like, chased her for a bit, um, talked to her, followed her on, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know the ins and outs. But she ditched him. Piers Morgan got her a taxi to a party where she met Prince Harry. And then she ghosted him, right? I mean, that's... And they sent some shitty messages to her or something like that. Um, really, a, a girl ditched a, a guy and then he's shitty to her afterwards. Like, I've never heard of that before. So then he's, um, so then he's saying that he don't, he don't believe a word that comes out of her mouth. And... Uh, Shitting on her opinions, like her comments about her mental health and suicidal tendencies and whatnot. Um, and I think he also, yeah, like Trisha Goddard <laughs> popped up to kick off because he's, uh, he's, he's commenting on race and, and all that. Anyway, so Piers Morgan's a dick, it turns out. Who knew that? Who knew that? Harry stole your girl for you? Yeah, mine too. <laughs> mine too, Martin Scott. Um, loved Megan in suits. I did think, you know, if things didn't work out with current Mrs. Egan, Megan was definitely, she was definitely next on the list. Um, you two. Let me just see what you said there, Martin. You said, how's the job from? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Um, telly sales. I'm just doing a telly sales job. So uh, when it turns five o'clock, I just go home. And I don't have to worry about any uh, any staff, which is nice. But of course, the drawback of that is I'm not getting paid for worrying about staff, which is not so nice. Try to work. Out. I'm ready now. I'm ready for the stress and the extra money. I'm ready. But it's nice to have a month off it. Um, anyway, so I think that's. I think we're up to Tuesday. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. Chaos. 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 And then, of course. Um, the girl who um, who went missing, and then for later we find out murdered by a fucking really high-ranking police officer. She's called Sarah Everard. I've written her name down. Sarah Everard. Um, 
And that's obviously then, that's, uh, that's the, then, then social media has obviously exploded uh, with all the stats of um, abuse, harassment of women and girls um, and everybody's stories. And again, it's nothing new, is it? We knew, we knew, we, we knew those stats, yeah? Obviously, people's, people's stories we didn't necessarily know and that. Um, but there's this outpouring now because I think the tone is enough's a fuck enough, right? I mean, we've come a long way since the 90s and I think I, I mentioned this earlier, like when we had... Um, you couldn't you couldn't look you couldn't look in a general direction without seeing a topless woman if it was zoom or nuts or um fucking hell i can't even remember those names like gq gq want too bad that were more like men's like david beckham in a suit and that um all those esquire magazines you know lad mags um so yeah i, I think culture's changed since then but clearly not enough, clearly not enough, right? So people are coming to social media and they are, um, and they're sharing their stories and all these stats are coming out and, um, and like that, 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 I can't remember that comedian's name, he's usually a comedian, he's done a serious talk about it and like 97% of rapists will never spend a day in prison and that, and all that, right? FH, FHM, yeah, FHM and all that. Page three, you couldn't look anywhere. You couldn't, you couldn't look without seeing a pair of nipples somewhere, right? Um, but that's, yeah, culture's swung in that since then. But yeah, de but definitely not enough. And, and what underlines the not enoughness of it is hashtag not all men, right? And um, it goes without saying, we know it's, we, we know it's not all men. Um, and it's a... It's akin to all lives matter. Like, oh God, it, it's people. People just get so defensive and feel like they're being attacked. And I, I, I mentioned this earlier to someone on Facebook. I can, I can, I know where that comes from because as a straight white male, you've got you sat with all the privilege in the world and. Any group that feels oppressed or any group that that receives abuse or anything like that, I mean, it's not going to be the straight white male typically who who, who can who can claim any abuse or any lack of privilege, um, and it's usually the doing of the straight white male, right? So I can kind of see where the, I can I can see where it comes from, but you've just you've got to, you've got to listen to the stories, you've got to listen to the voices, and actually, as soon as you engage with it with an open mind. And, and and get involved in the conversations, you go, oh, right, it's, oh, it's not an attack, <laughs> right? It's not an attack. What it is, is a reach out. And and probably the, 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 the group that is the straight white man is the one that can do the most about it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's us that need to change or it's us that need to educate. Anyway, this is not why I did this. Um, I was thinking about, I saw, oh, I saw this funny thing um, that reminded me of part... Lane, an idea for a television program, Lane. Um, anyone who's used the hashtag, anyone who's used the hashtag, not all men, has to uh, go on this game show called Not All Snakes. So they go in a room and uh, not all the snakes are venomous, but some of them are, uh, and they've just got to navigate their way through it um, as a punishment for being a dick. <laughs> so the post I put yesterday is saying, asking... What societal changes could be made? What can we do to make it safer for women and to make women feel safe, right? Um, and I think the, the conclusion we came to was, um, or the conclusion from that post anyway, yeah, it was a good use of poetry, Daddy, thank you. Um, the conclusion we came to on that post was, what would be really useful would be um, something to be included in schools. Like, I think it's common knowledge that curriculum needs a reform anyway. Like, um, uh, stuff about, stuff of, like, even stuff about money, um, stuff about society, stuff about mental health, stuff about physical health. Um, and sack Pat, just sack Pat, just sack Pat. Explain yourself, Eddie. Um, yeah, but um, 
So, yeah, but in, including the curriculum, education about this stuff, education about uh, consent, education about um, uh, like culture and language and uh, stuff like that. Anyway, stuff about real life. Yeah, exactly, Joe, exactly. Um, right, cool. So, yeah, and, and I think ultimately, like, um, a culture shift from the top down um this comedian again can't remember his name but he um he says it, it, it and it, it's obvious we know this it goes right up to the top right up the police right up to the top of the government you know um it's still a, a man's world run by men um and i suppose if you are um a young boy growing up in this and you're taking you take it's, you could easily take the wrong things from it right um, yeah, cool. Um, so I could not do uh, a, a live video and, and not mention this stuff because from International Women's Day, God, it just went tits up very quickly, didn't it? Particularly on social media. Um, yeah, no, please, not all men. Please, not all. Oh yeah, see, so end all that. It's not just it's not just sexual harassment and making women feel uncomfortable it goes right through to violence right and i've seen um, a few posts saying just like end violence to women be it domestic violence sexual violence harassment things like that um and then <laughs> so hashtag end all violence fucking hell like creating a hashtag to um to oppose i don't even want to call it a movement it's not a movement to oppose a problem in society Jesus Christ, what kind of dick do you have to be? We should teach them how to start a business or algebra. Yeah, algebra. Just never <laughs> I've never really had a need for algebra outside of school, outside of when we did algebra. Fuck the tells they'll start a hat company. I've only got three hats now. There's, the hat shops have been shut for a year. I haven't been able to buy a new hat. All my hats are old. I'm out to date with all these comments. Suit all the way. In fact, just give me any from suits. <laughs> Martin, you know, that's, that's not the tone, Martin. Not the tone, for fuck's sake. Who's Pat, Eddie? Oh, it's a Patrick reference. You've not seen Alpha Pat? No, I ain't seen that. I ain't seen that, mate. Um, so from International Women's Day, all that stuff in between. And then and then Mother's Day tomorrow, innit? And... Uh, in a world, as I say, that feels like it is male-dominated, men are paid, still paid more, like a lot more for the exact same roles and blah, blah, blah. Um, most of the world leaders are male, you know what I mean? Occasionally you get a Theresa May, a Margaret Thatcher, but they don't do... I don't think they did a good job for women, really. Um, hat shops are shut, there's a market, yes! <laughs> yeah. No, the problem is, though... I don't like to buy. I don't like to buy stuff online. Clothes. I don't like to buy clothes online. I like to. I like to try them on. <laughs> Hashtag Father's Day. Um, I like to try them on, and usually I like to leave the shop wearing that the item that I've just bought. Um, now that's just. I, I don't know. Who else does that? Anyone else do that? Are you all normal? I like to do that. So tomorrow is Mother's Day, and in a world dominated by men, everybody on this planet came out of a woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? You came out of a woman, you. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, the conclusion on that post was education. Everyone came out of a woman. We need, to, uh, we need to make sure that everybody feels safe, but particularly when there's a conversation around abuse to women, harassment to women, um, the focus then has to be on women, right? For God's sake. Okay. So Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day for tomorrow to all mothers. Um, if you are, even, right, if you've got a girlfriend or a wife that ain't a mother, just give her a Mother's Day tomorrow. <laughs> it's been a fucking shit week. Um, what I did want to talk about, like this... The real reason I wanted to do this this video, but like I say, I couldn't do it without without talking about that stuff. It would have felt like I was ignoring it, um, and like I wasn't like being an ally, being being observing it, needed observing, right? Um, but actually, like 
what I do, what I do want to talk about, and if anybody's, if anybody over the past fifteen lockdowns that we've had has been drinking lots of beers, um, and obviously that's fine, but uh, and I have too. I've drank lots of beers, um, but actually for ages, I ain't drank any beers or like hardly any beers, and I feel fucking great for it. I feel really good. So I've re- I think one step to t- one step that really helps you if you. Uh, if you've got a, a de- not dependency, but if you've got a relationship with alcohol where, uh, you st- I mean, you're stuck in the house, you need to break up your day, you need to change your environment, so you like to get a little bit wavy, right? Because it changes, it makes the night different from the day, or, oh, you're stressed out about money, or your career, or your job, or something like that. Um, and it's a distraction, isn't it? Smoking weed, sense Emilia, or you're, or you're drinking beers. It's just a distraction. Takes you away from that thing. But I've been finding that I'm not, I haven't been enjoying drinking. Um, and the following day of, the, of that drinking, just like an overwhelming self-loathing, you know. Martin says, we live in a society that doesn't want anyone to have their own opinion. And the general gist is that we should all have the same views, same morals, same opinions. And anyone that disagrees or has a different opinion to our own has to be categorised. I didn't say it doesn't want anyone to have their own opinion. And the general gist. So what's your opinion, Martin? What is your opinion, Martin Scott? Tell me your opinion, Martin. I mean, yeah. But stuff like this, when there are thousands of women in the UK saying, or, or when, when there's statistics saying all young women have been abused or harassed, sorry, or they're saying you don't know any women who either haven't been harassed or abused in some way, shape or form, or haven't held the hand of a woman who has been abused in some, or harassed in some way, shape or form, there's not really any other opinions to have about that than to go, fucking hell, that's shit, you know what I mean? What can we do to make sure that that doesn't happen anymore, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so yeah, beers. I've been waking up, right? And when I wake up, I'm in the mood that would normally take me like three hours to get to. So I'm waking up already in that, in that, in that, with a bit of energy, a bit of spring in my step, I'm out of bed, I'm having a workout 10 minutes after I wake up. Don't do that after six Australia the night before, you know what I mean? Waking up with purpose, it's making me feel good. Um, look, I'm not after any congratulatory coins or anything like that. I'm, I've said this before, I don't want to shit on like alcoholism or anything like that. I am, I, I'm, I've never been dependent on alcohol. But I do have a toxic relationship with it. I drink it in all the red flag moments, yeah, when I'm bored or when I'm stressed. You should only be drinking alcohol to to be social, which, let's face it, who's been social at the minute? Um, or to celebrate, I think. They're the two times, they're the two times I would... Uh, find drinking to be acceptable but right now i ain't got fuck all to celebrate um and i'm certainly ain't social so i'm waking up feel oh god oh no look i'm not even a hangover just feeling shit um right think of it this way if you want to enjoy the tapestry of being alive right what comes with that is unavoidable suffering, right? Things are going to happen to you that are going to make you sad, that are going to annoy you, that you're going to be frustrated about. The government's going to do some shit, okay? And you're not going to be able to do nothing about it, and it's going to piss you off. The world is going to do some shit. Like a pandemic might happen, you know what I mean? And that is going to cause lots of fucking problems for everybody, um, and it's going to annoy you, and stuff's going to make you sad. People you know will die, you know what I mean? That's going to be fucking sad. People, um, someone you love might not love you back, you know what I mean? You're going to be sad. You're going to get sad, you're going to get frustrated, you're going to get annoyed, okay? You can't control those things. But what you can control is obviously how you are reacting to those things. Think of it like this. So you get, uh, 
like a, so you get an allergic reaction to something, right? And you've got this little rash. And you know this rash will go away if you leave it. But if you give it a little itch, you get that little, oh, that feels good. That feels good. It solves that problem for a bit. But you keep on itching it. You keep on itching it until it bleeds. And now it's not going to heal for another two weeks because you keep on itching it, right? That's avoidable suffering. And that's stuff that you're doing to yourself to make a bad situation worse, right? And that's what that's what I do with beers, right? I make a shit situation even worse by not not well I can't deal with the problem, right? So I drink to to distract me from the problem, but then wake up in the morning feeling like shit, self-loving, hating my life, um and actually uh feeling even worse because I've drank. But then that didn't stop me. So I'll drink some more beers that night as well. So I'm trying to avoid avoidable suffering by avoiding those beers. So I'm replacing it with some exercise and I'm, I've ran every day this week except yesterday but I did a big fat workout so it's all right. Um, avoidable suffering. Avoid it. Avoid avoidable suffering wherever you can. Don't make it worse for yourself. Don't lean on substances if it's not for social reasons or for uh, what was the other one? Celebrations, right? Get yourself sorted first. And what I am thinking as well, oh yeah, because not just that, because it makes me fat as well, right? It gives me this little little pot belly, um, which on a short, skinny man, I can't get away with. Maybe I'd be all right if I were tall or big, you know what I mean? But I'm not. <laughs> so I'm just having this little round belly and it just, um, it's not for me. It's not for me. So I'm thinking gin. <laughs> I think gin's the answer. So when we go back, we can be social or who knows if there's something to celebrate. There was nearly something to celebrate this week, but it, it's not. So it kicked me straight in the balls. Very nearly, very nearly did I get lots of Australia's. But I think gin, probably gin. So I can have a big old gin. I found some nice gin glasses that I want and I'll sip this gin. And uh, it's not going to make me too fat and it's not going to make me drink 50 litres of liquid. Right, let's see what this is. It's looking like a star sign right up. Everyone can relate to some extent and puts things in place according to their own experience. But where do you define each meaning of harassed? One girl will call one text from a guy harassed. As where others may say 15 texts will be harassment. I'd say if someone feels harassed, let's let them have that as harassment, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, if, yeah, maybe a text... It depends what that text says, right? If that text is abusive or... Anyway, look, we're speculating on a thing. If someone says they're being harassed, I think we give them the benefit of the doubt and um, and try to get to the root of that problem and support them and listen to them, you know what I mean? But that's... That's just, that's just me and uh, hundreds of thousands of other people in the UK. Um... Anyway, what's that? 23 minutes, 23 minutes. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching me talk about that stuff. I don't feel harassed. I don't feel harassed, Martin. Actually, you've put a question mark after that. I feel a bit threatened and harassed by that question mark. Martin Scott, let's chat about this afterwards. Um, yeah, look, lend an ear, get involved in those conversations. Um, you might learn something, you know what I mean? Just like we did with, uh, I, I learned a lot about racism when when Black Lives Matter came about. And I, you know, I thought I knew about that stuff already. So sometimes if you're unsure about a situation, I mean, get involved, get involved. There's definitely a lot to learn by opening, opening your mind and your ears. Um, but yeah, look, have a good Sunday. Take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me. Um, and I'm off to drink no beers, but maybe gin. Goodbye. Adios, amigo. Adios. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Adios. Bye. Adios.